Hi guys and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Ashley and if you love anything that has to do with crafting, you are at the right place. Starting off, I am using this Dollar Tree stocking and these fabrics that I bought at Walmart for 99 cents. The fabric is thin, so I did have to do two layers of the stocking. Well, three actually, because the design was still showing through. But for the first layer, you want to trace the stocking and then hot glue it. Once you have hot glued the first layer, I went in and I hot glued the second layer. I just went in with some scraps and covered the center of the stocking, but you can make it neater. Once I was done covering the center, I went in with my final layer and that one I did go in making it neat. And it's okay if it's not neat at the end because I did end up covering it anyways with yarn so you couldn't even see the edges. But anyways guys, so like I said I glued the first, the final layer of the fabric and I just went in. I did leave two centimeters for the last layer of the stocking when I traced it I left two centimeters on the sides all around because I will be going in and folding and tucking in the sides of the leftover fabric and as you can see here I'm just hot gluing it making it nice and neat folding in the sides of the stocking that I had left over Once I was finally done with that, I am going in with this chunky yarn that I also purchased at Walmart. So all I'm doing is covering the whole stocking from the sides and there's really nothing to it. It's super easy. Just hot glue it and just go all around the stocking until you are fully, until it is fully covered. So once I was done with that, I am moving on to adding some ribbon. The ribbon I did purchase at Hobby Lobby, both of them. So I just went in on top of the stocking and just glued them to my liking. You can leave them as two or you can do the whole stocking in a pattern, up to you. guys and that is pretty much done for the stocking portion now I'm moving on to making some pom-poms if you are interested in how I made this little gadget 
I will link a video down below of a video that I saw that I found so easy. It was so effortless and it has really helped me out of all the videos I've seen. This one was the easiest to help me create a pom-pom. So you just want to wrap it around the cardboard like 75 times. I wrapped it 75 times. Then I just tied a knot, secured the knot, and I did go in with hot glue just to make it more secure. I also did go ahead and do the pom-poms off camera. So sorry guys if I don't have any footage. But like I said, I will be linking the video down below of how to create these pom-poms. She actually explains it way better than how I'm explaining it. So go check her out. Once I finished doing the pom-poms, I just tied them all together. And I tied them to the corner of the stocking as you can see here. And that was it for this DIY guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it and you do end up recreating it. I found it so cute and I thought this would look perfect in a kid's room or something to do with your kids as an activity. But with that being said guys, I hope you like this video and you give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to my channel for updates on more videos. So stay tuned and see you next time.